So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than it normally is. We aren't making a recipe and I'm not giving you tips on photography. Oh no, today you get to watch me drink iced coffee. Hey everybody, I'm Jen and welcome to Cashmere and Cocktails. I am going to be taste testing three grocery store bought iced coffees and I'm going to rate them. I'm going to do this because I need to drink a lot of iced coffee for the evening I have in store and uh, I'm bringing you along for the ride because why the hell not? It's a wild and exciting night when uh, you're looking forward to baking laundry and iced coffee. Now I'd like to preface this by saying that I was judged hard by the young man that checked me out at the grocery store. And by checking out, I, I don't mean that he was checking me out. I mean he was physically checking out my items. But yes, as he scanned six liters of iced coffee, he looked at me and I could tell by the smirk on his face that he was thinking, you basic other basic items that I like are cozy sweaters, my hunter boots, Lululemon pants, and pumpkin. Bite me. Anyway, basic I am, because I, I love iced coffee. I really do. It's delicious. What's there not to love? I'm gonna fill my glass with ice because iced coffee. <laughs> really excited about this and I hope it uh, brings back my will to live. <laughs> it's okay, I'm okay. I am pandemic fine. <laughs> so the first product that I have picked up is the International Delight Mocha Flavored Iced Coffee. It's 180 calories per serving, so probably stocked full of sugars. It says to shake well, so I will shake it. It's the most exercise I've done all week. Thank you, International Delight. Also, none of these products are sponsored. They don't know I exist. This is not an ad. I just need the coffee. Let's try not to make a mess. I'm gonna, no, I'm just gonna fill it because um, caffeine. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna pretend that I'm an iced coffee connoisseur. It smells like chocolate and life sustenance. It's wonderful. Bottoms up. Oh, it's sweet. That is definitely on the sweet side. Which isn't a bad thing if you're looking to go into a diabetic coma. It's, it's very sweet. It kind of tastes like a fudgesicle. Not only will I have a caffeine high, I will have a sugar high. Okay, I have to taste the others, so I have to not finish this entire glass just yet. Notice, I said just yet. I am going to be drinking all of these. I have a buttload of work to do. Roundup of the International Delight. It is tasty, it is sweet. It might give you diabetes. The second iced coffee that I have today is Stoke? Stoke? I don't really know how to say that. I am probably butchering this name. I am sorry to Stoke. Stock. Stock. Sorry. See, I'm Canadian. I'm sorry. This is an almond milk based cold brew coffee. So there's a difference apparently between cold brew and iced coffee in the time that it takes for the coffee to cool. I could be getting that wrong. This is Google search information, so write your complaints to them if it's wrong. I also like that they specify here on their label that it's sweet-ish. I had ish all the time. I'll be late-ish. It's funny-ish. I'm drunk-ish. So many uses for that. All right, so I am going to add ice to my glass. Shake well, almost forgot. Okay, impress me, Stoke. Ooh, it's dark, a dark brew. 
So just in appearance alone, this one is a lot darker than the International Delight. I don't know if you can really see this, the difference on camera. Peekaboo. Um, no, but in all seriousness, I don't know if that means anything. Maybe it will be more chocolatey. Who knows? I don't think it smells like a whole lot, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Take a sip. Ooh, I like this. They were right in their description. It is sweet-ish. It's not that sweet. There's like a hint of sweetness. Hmm. Yes. Vegan certified and gluten free. I don't know if that means anything to you. It doesn't to me. But to my gluten free vegan friends out there, this is a good product for you. It is also only 90 calories per serving in comparison to the International Delight, which was double. Wait, let's see if the portion amounts are the same. Okay, so it's not exactly, it's not exactly accurate. The portion sizes are different, but the International Delight still has more calories. Also, not something I really care about. Stoke, I may have butchered your name, but you are delicious. The last thing that I picked up at the grocery store was the Kalipia Mocha Cold Brew Coffee. And I really like the packaging of this one. Beautiful and matte, and very nice, beautiful packaging. Again, <laughs> doesn't affect the taste, it's gotta be tasty. You could serve something to me in a sketchy brown paper bag. If it tastes delicious, I won't question you. <laughs> shake it. Oh, this one doesn't say to shake it. It is already shook. And this one is also a vegan friendly product. So I imagine it's with almond milk. So again, dairy free. So you don't get the sh This too is only 90 calories per serving. So I'm going to fill my glass with glass, glass, ice. This is what happens when you're a bilingual human. Language is hard. Okay, so I have my ice in my glass and I will pour the Califia Mocha Cold Brew Coffee. It looks like extra chocolatey. This basically looks like chocolate milk in comparison. It does not look like iced coffee at all. That smells exactly like chocolate milk. Like exactly. We'll see. Okay, that basically tastes like chocolate milk. I am not joking. My impression of the Califia Mocha is it's a little too mocha for me. This being said, if you don't like the taste of coffee, the Califia is probably the better choice for you. But I like coffee. Delicious though, it's very delicious. I'm still gonna drink it. I'm going to finish all three bottles. I will be, I will be up for two days. So, my review on the three products. All three are delicious and all three should keep me caffeinated long enough to finish the six loads of laundry that I need to do. I'm not even joking, I wish I was kidding. My laundry room, it looks like a bomb of dirty underwear went off. Anyway, they should all keep me caffeinated. They were all delicious. But this doesn't answer the question of which was my favorite. So I will go in increments of Bronze, silver, and gold. Let's do it that way. There is no science base to this review. Again, I am just drinking iced coffee and you get to witness it. So the bronze medal of the iced coffee Olympics goes to none other than the International Delight Mocha Iced Coffee. The reason it got third place 
is because it's so sweet. It's incredibly sweet. And while that might be your preference, it's not mine. I, I tend to like my beverages on the unsweetened side. So it's, it's not my first choice. This being said, two liters was like $3 at the grocery store. So for the price, it's not a bad option. The silver medal goes to Califia Cold Brew. This one was really good, don't get me wrong. And I may get crucified for saying this, but it was just too chocolatey for me. Again, a great option. And it was very, very tasty. And my boyfriend could slam one of these in a second. No, but seriously, you have no idea how much he loves chocolate milk. I've never been more disgusted than the time I watched him squirt nest quick into a four liter of milk and then chug it. He would like this. You might like this. I liked this actually. It's just not my top choice. Process of elimination, I'm sure you've figured out who got the gold medal of the iced coffee Olympics. It is none other than Stoke Stock. I am so sorry. If this company ever watches my video, apologies. Your product is delicious though, and I, I will buy this again. I will buy it for many different reasons. One, I am basic. As we discussed earlier, love iced coffee. If you don't like iced coffee, there is something wrong with you and we can't be friends. Unsubscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Don't unsubscribe. If you haven't subscribed, actually subscribe. Please don't leave. The sweet-ish description was bang on and their product was delicious. It was just sweet enough. Still had that coffee flavor that I look for in iced coffee. I like this. So that's it for me today, folks. I hope that you liked this very strange video on my part. I know I enjoy drinking, I mean filming it. And if you would like to see more like it, please comment in the comment box below and tell me what you'd like me to review. I will be happy to sacrifice myself to eat and taste pretty much anything. I really like to eat. If you want more of me, please, Subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video and hit the notification bell. That way you'll never miss out on any future videos. YouTube will tell you, hey, that weirdo's posted a video again. You should check it out and uh, grab a drink. You'll need it. I, I really have to drink all of these now. I have so much stuff to do. This is what my Friday nights have come to. Laundry, iced coffee, despair. Putting on the lip gloss cause my lips look good. I was watching my previous videos and I look like I've been in the Sahara Desert for days. Two seconds away from cutting into a cactus and hoping for the best. What's going on with that? Am I that dehydrated? Throw water in there sometimes, Jen an idea. Hydration. It works. The sound of joy. 